Hello, scholars. I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to expand on one of our uh, test questions that we had uh, today and, uh, and hopefully interest you guys a little bit more into probability and more into uh, some of the material that is outside the scope of our class. Uh, so what I want to talk about today is, is called the Martingale betting system. The way that this betting system works is that each time that you lose a bet, uh, against the casino, then you double the size of your bet. And what that what happens is, uh, if you lose, you know, three times in a row and then win on the fourth, uh, you're re you're recouping all of your previous losses. Uh, so let's set up a simulation here. Uh, let's say that we're going to start with fifty dollars in the bank. So that's going to be our starting balance there, and we'll just bet one dollar a hand, and we'll do a very very simple. Uh, casino game, uh, we'll just flip a coin. Um, so we have a 50% chance of winning. Uh, so let's just pick a random number between 0 and 1. 0 will be that the uh, casino wins, 1 will be that we win. Um, so you can see here in this initial case we lost our first bet. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to update our current balance in the second step. So uh, we're going to say if we lost the bet, so if this is equal to zero, then we're going to subtract our bet size from our previous balance. Okay, if it's not equal to zero, then we're going to add these two. Okay, and you can see this will uh, update the random number every time that we update the spreadsheet. Um, but you can see now that we've won, we now have $51 because we won our bet. If we updated a, a, another cell over here and figured out what would happen if we lost, there we go. We have uh, $49 there. So we know that it's working correctly. Um, let's get rid of those. Uh, we need to update our bet size too as well. So if we lose here, so if this is equal to zero, then we need to double our bet size. Okay, because uh, that will allow us to recoup our losses. If we've won, though, if this doesn't happen, then our bet size is going to reset back to one. Okay, and let's uh, let's just copy and and paste another trial there. Um, so what we have here, let's copy and paste this down for a uh, for a couple of cells so that we can see a few. Uh, a few hands in action, or a few coin tosses in action in this case. So on the first uh, coin flip, looks like we called it correctly, and so we got another dollar. On the second one, we called it correctly, so we got a second dollar. We, not, we're in it. we now have a current balance of $52. Um, and then on this third flip, we lost. Okay, so look, our bet doubles, and we have a current balance of 51 But then we won. And so we're back up to where we were. We're actually back up plus another one. Um, and then we start a big losing streak here. But look at what look at what happens at the end of this. We started at 53. Once we won for the second time, uh, or once we won again, we came all, all the way up to 54. So let's expand this a little bit. Um, we're just going to copy this um, and leave that. Hanging. Let's add some more rows here. So let's. Oh, we have tons of rows. Um, forgot that I did that earlier. So let's add some some rows, and then we're going to copy and paste this down so we have a nice large data set. Um, so we just paste that down, and you can see if it pastes. There we go. Um, you can see that all the way down at the bottom, our our uh, our current balance is increasing and and increasing. Let's take a a more in depth look at this though. Um, let's go ahead and look at all of the current balance and see the trend over time. Uh, so let's pick a uh, just a line chart here, and you can see that 
with the exception of a couple of losing streaks. We had a losing streak here, a losing streak here. All of these losing streaks, with those exceptions, were pretty much increasing in a linear fashion, um, which is what we would expect. Um, let's choose a, a few new random numbers here. So all I need to do is update one of these cells, and it will pick all random numbers for all of our trials, and take a look at this. This is what I wanted to see, and this is what I wanted to, uh, to talk about here. On this trial, and this happened actually pretty early, we can, we can probably scroll down to it. Here it is. Um, we got a losing streak that was so long that we exhausted all the money that was in, in the bank. We exhausted all the money that was in our bank. So once we hit this negative balance, in, in our on, on the on the in the game, we can no longer bet money. Um, and if you look at this, there's something very important to notice here on this uh, on this bet size. You can see here we start with one, we go to two, we go to four, we go to eight. It's doubling each time, which of course is growing exponentially. Um, so if we look, you know, if we uh, if we update this again, we now have several times. Here we go. Um, let's actually set this up here. Let's just look at the maximum bet that we uh, that we had. Um, and of course, it's going to update again. But our maximum bet was five hundred and twelve dollars here. Keep in mind, we started with fifty dollars in the bank. Um, we update and do another simulation. Um, our maximum bet is now $2,048. This is an immense amount of money um, compared, compared with what we started with. And, and we, could, we could increase our, our starting balance if we wanted to, um, but it doesn't change the fact that in the long run, the likelihood of getting a losing streak that will completely wipe out your, 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 uh, the chips that you have on the table uh, becomes increasingly higher. And so that's where the Martingale uh, system fails, is that you, it's likely that you'll get enough losing streaks in a row that you will not be able to play anymore. Now, the casino war that we talked about in the, uh, in the problem on the test is very, very similar. While you don't need to do the Martingale betting system in order to, to see it in action, um, the principles stay the same. We have a uh, a game with about a 50/50 chance of winning. The edge is slightly in the player's fa in the player's favor, but it's a very fast-paced game. The goal of the casino is to is to catch you on a losing streak um, that is so long that they've completely wiped out all the money that you have, um, and so that's why they're willing to give that very slight edge to the player, um, and and it's a very I watched it for a little bit when I was in Las Vegas. It's a very boring game. Um, so people tend to tire of it pretty quickly. Um, but that is uh, the Martingale betting system.